that's a great answer. Negative 2 times negative 1 to the 4th plus negative 1 squared minus negative 1 minus 1. So I'll go with that. Okay? Yeah. Then anytime you raise a negative to a positive, not positive, to an even exponent, the negative goes away. So this is really negative 2 times 1 plus 1, oh, plus 1 again, because minus a negative, and then minus 1. So it's negative 2 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Okay? Now, what about the remainder on the other one? Did y'all get that, or did you get stuck too? You got negative one. Okay. All right, and then we skip to here. Uh, Justin, what'd you get for p of two? Negative one. Negative one. Okay. I got negative one. Eleven. Oh, sorry. Is that what you said? I'm sorry. I thought you said negative one. And what'd you get for the remainder, Zella? Okay, seeing a pattern, I hope. Okay, this one I let us skip, uh, but if I plug in negative three over two, so I have two times negative three over two to the fourth, plus seven times negative three over two cubed, plus four times negative three over two squared, Minus 7 times negative 3 over 2, minus 6. Ooh, oh. Yuck. Okay. Uh, to raise a fraction to a power, you raise both numbers. Raise the top to that power and the bottom to that power. So 3 to the 4th is 81. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And it doesn't matter that it was negative because it's being raised to an even root. So it's going to be 81 over 2 to the 4th, which is 16. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, the next one's going to be negative because it's an odd exponent. So negative 3 to the 3rd is negative 27. And 2 to the 3rd is 8. Stop me if you see a arithmetic error. Negative 3 squared, that's 9, and 2 squared is 4. And then I'm just going to leave this one alone for now. Okay. Um, hmm, how do I want to do this? I'm going to cross cancel here. So that's going to be 81 over 8. That one won't cancel. 27 times 7. I got 189. Negative 189 over 8 because that's over 1. 4s will cancel. You get plus 9. Um, negative 7 times negative 3 is positive 21 over 2 minus 6. I need a common denominator, which looks like it should be 8. So 81 over 8, I'm going to leave alone. Minus 189 over 8. Plus 72 over 8, because I did 9 times 8 to get to 72. Hmm. Plus over 8, so I multiplied by 4, that's 84 over 8. Are you kidding me? Okay, so we'll finish this out. Woo!
Yep. Aren't you glad I didn't make y'all do that one? <laughs> Man, I wish I didn't make me do that one. That snuck up on me. Yes, please. I'll clean them off. 